today we're going to be preparing a trailer for roadworthiness again. Uh, it's been sitting for a long time. We will uh, put our fender covers back in here as well and new, cut new boards and carpet them. We also have the um, boat guides here, so we're going to put those boards on and you know cover them with carpet as well. Okay, so one of the things that we said we had to do with the trailer is make the inner fender covers and also the trailer uh, boat guides. So we cut the boards for those uh, to the shape and then what we're doing now is we're going to cover them in carpet. So we simply just cut the carpet. So with these inner fenders, uh, we just are going to cut it about two inches further so we just have enough room to wrap that up on this side and staple it around. We'll be cutting relief cuts in here to bring that down and so it lays fairly smooth. Then that will be um, bolted onto the fender. So after it's bolted onto the, or actually prior, but before we bolt it onto the fender, we are going to uh, just hit that with a little bit of black spray paint on the inner. Nobody sees that, the tire's in there. Uh, but then you'll have the, the good side facing out, which will you'll be like that. So that's what we're doing with that with these side pieces. You can kind of look at the cuts that's in here. And that is simply so that once this is wrapped up around on both sides, that this here can come up and cover the whole thing. And then this will be the outside edge where the bolts go through here. So we'll, we've got a couple of those. Those are already cut and then we are going to glue. All right, just to give you an idea of when you're wrapping around and I said you had to do relief cuts, this is what it looks like. So you'll see there's little cutaways and this is not super important. Remember, this is on the inside of the uh, trailer fender. So you're not gonna see this, you know, and this whole area here is all gonna be sprayed uh, with black spray paint, just misted, just so it takes that color away and it's not super noticeable. So we're just going to go ahead and lay one down and cut the relief cut just so you can see how it's being done roughly. This whole surface going around here is actually bolt. Go ahead and make your relief cuts. This whole surface going around here is being held by the screws that hold the to the fender. So this isn't going anywhere anyway. You know we've already glued the other surface, the flat surface on the other side that's showing, and uh, we glue all these edges and staple them down. And let it the glue set good. Uh, not that it's super necessary, but it does make it last longer for sure. So you can see that, you know, he basically just cut it out to where they kind of match. There is a joint there, but not much. And it doesn't matter if there's a big or small. It's just making it so that you don't bolt the fender down or this uh, inner fender against the fender itself against rippled, lumped up carpet. It just makes it a smoother surface so it sits down better. Okay, so this is what it basically is going to look like. We're going to do the other one as well. So this is from the front side. And, of course, from the back side. So this one's finished. We're going to tap the staples down a little bit better and lay this thing on a flat surface so the glue can set up good and move on to the next. Okay, so we showed you cutting out the uh, inner fender wells and the, uh, doing the bunks. Well, this is a lot of the finished trailer. Uh, this is old bow or the old bunk carpet on here. Uh, it's in good enough condition. Uh, so we put the inner fender wells on there in place as well as the uh, side guide bunks. So everything is all set and uh, this trailer is ready to go.